Hey, scrapbook friends. I just wanna do a quick video for you today to show one of my favorite little tips, and that's to make just a temporary little cardboard easel that you can use on your scrapbooking space. Um, if you're like me, I often have, you know, a handout or a cutting guide or a sketch that I'm following. And sometimes those papers kind of get lost on my scrapbooking table. And so we're just going to make this quick little easel. It folds flat so you can um, fold flat easier if you're not trying to film it at the same time. But you can just stick this in your scrapbooking space or your, your scrapbooking bag and carry it with you. And then when you get to where you want to go, you can put it together. All right, so I'm going to switch to the overhead and show you how to put together this fun little easel. Okay, to create your easel, all you're going to need to do is start with a 12 by 12 piece of lightweight cardboard or chipboard. Um, I got this from a pack of Creative Memories cardstock. I got gobs of this in my house, so it's always something I have handy. I've often just quickly put together one of these easels when I'm at an event. Uh, and I'm going to use my 12 inch trimmer. Uh, you could do this without the 12 inch trimmer, um, just with a, a ruler and a pencil, but it'll be a little faster with this, with the scoring blade. So I'm gonna swap out the scoring blade here. Um, and I want to score at six inches. So I put my cardboard in here, line it with the six inch line. And I'm just gonna score, and I'm gonna score a couple of times because this is kind of heavy heavier cardboard than usual, but you can see there's my scoring line. So move this out of the way, tuck my blade under here so I don't lose it. And then you're just gonna fold on the crease. And if you have a multi-purpose tool, a bone folder, even like a pencil, you can just kind of, um, Reinforce that edge, make sure there's a good fold in it. Haha, -ha, this way you don't wanna use a pencil on your scrapbook pages because it left a little bit of the pa uh, paint from the pencil, but it won't matter for this. Um, and then just kind of come up with a, a triangle shape. You could do corner to corner, that's gonna make a really tall um, easel, and that's probably the easiest thing to do. And you can see that it doesn't quite line up right here. You know, it wasn't exactly 12 inches. Um, and that doesn't matter. So just kind of draw your triangle shape. And you could use a ruler if you wanted to do and go corner to corner. And then you're gonna want a little lip to set your paper on. So just do that and take a pair of scissors. And you could probably do this on a trimmer, but I feel like with the thick chipboard, it's just easier to do with scissors and just cut out along those lines on one side. You're not gonna wanna cut out on both sides. And these are just not my good scrapbooking scissors, just some all-purpose scissors that I have because they, they seem to cut really nicely through the chipboard. Um, you could use a X-Acto knife or something. And then you fold the piece back and just copy that same line so that your angles are the same. Cut this out. All right, now take one of these little scraps of um, cardstock and you're gonna wanna cut a piece about an inch and a half. And it doesn't have to be like exactly, exactly straight. Again, you could draw a, a line with a ruler if that would make you feel better. You could cut it on your trimmer, but for this little quick project, you don't even need to be precise. And then um, this is the straight edge. I know this is the bottom, so I'm going to um, make sure that I keep this at the bottom. And about an inch or so in on either side, I'm gonna write draw a line about two thirds of the way through. So I kind of want this to line up um, if I use my grid here, I'm just eyeballing it though. I'm just showing you these lines for your benefit. Um, but so just line up to about, about a half an inch from the, 
the, the straight bottom edge that we know is the straight edge. And then again, take your scissors and I like to cut around this line. So I'm basically cutting twice to have a little um, kind of a 16th or an eighth of an inch piece in here. So that's where my cardboard is gonna fit. And then I just pluck that out. Because of course, you know, this is not something that's gonna be pretty. This isn't a display easel. This is just a little working working easel that you can quickly throw together when you're at an event and realize you need something to prop your project up on. Okay, so I've taken this and I'm gonna take my easel and just kind of prop it on here to see where that's going to go. Um, and then I take my pencil and draw a line right here and a line right here. But I know that this is only a quarter inch, so I don't have to go up all this way. But then we're just gonna kind of do the same thing is cut a little piece out to line up with, well, all right, maybe we're gonna cut it. Sometimes you can just kind of pluck it out, but cut a little piece out that's gonna line up with these base. All right, so you just got these two little cuts. And then when you slide it in like here, it's going to go around the, the cardboard and there's your easel that stands up and you can go ahead and put your little paper on it and it will stand right where you want it. If this part is too wide, if you have something that's narrower, you can take this other piece and cut like a little shelf, but, or you could even cut in here and make, make the thing a little bit narrower, but you could put that on here and then that will hold that up just a little bit better. All right. So there you go. Super quick, um, easel for you to just create out of some chipboard and have on your scra scrapbooking table and then easily disassemble throw it away, recycle it if you, you know, if you don't need it. Um, but I just, you know, usually have one of these stuck in with my scrapbooking project so that when I am working on something, I can just quickly put it together, set it up and, and put my sketch or whatever I'm working on here um, so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. So I hope you found that this was helpful and that you will enjoy using your little cardboard project easel. Thanks a lot and happy scrapbooking.